Ooh, large house, the T shape. Welcome back to the Medieval vs. Modern Village Transformation Series. What's up? Welcome back. This one is large house. Okay, you might be saying, yeah, you already did the large house, but no, this is the T shape. The T shape large house, me and Apple Mans. Did I get that right? I think I finally got that right. I had a comment in the last video that said you were saying the name wrong. Sorry about that, Avo. Avo Mans. Hopefully that's right. Either way, okay, we're gonna take a look at my modern style build. I did a lot of wood. We needed to use wood so that it fit into the village nicely because we had to, you don't wanna have too much white, okay? So we had to make it all wood. I love how it turned out. You might be thinking it's kind of weird or you might like it. I don't know either way. We're gonna check it out and then we're gonna go check in on Avo. Avos. Avo's medieval style. Okay, rambling already. Let's get to it. So here we go. The T-shape house. Okay, you can see straight away the way I placed it. Um, the door is on that other side. We're actually going to move the door to this, uh, the left side. So that's one thing to mention straight away. Uh, the time lapse right here is a little bit slower. Okay, this time I'm going to be able to walk you through it and talk you through it. Because this design, as I mentioned, is pretty different. Different than you might have expected. Different than you might have think or thought. Uh, was going to be coming out of this t-shaped large house and the main reason is because as I mentioned wood Okay, very critical. I've mentioned it before in the series. We can't have too much white can't have too much white or it overdoes overpowers it um, Throughout the entire village and so it's very critical that we use a different block and the texture I've been going with is the beautiful beautiful You know, I love it stripped wood and then comp plot con con contemplating con no man that's wrong, that's the wrong word. Complementing with the the gray, the different uh, gray concrete blocks, okay? Contra contemplating, Compl okay, either way. Here we go, so you'll see, I cut into the foundation, all right? I cut into the shape. Dang, I rambled through that entire building part. But I cut inside, okay? So we're gonna drop quite a few different um, varying bits of depth. And so you see it again right here, okay? We're dropping it back one block, we're inside the the uh the the frame of the large house was the word the initial structure oh i know it oh my gosh it's right on the tip of my tongue why does this always happen every single time um the the, the base whatever it is the size of the large t-shaped house okay we wanted to stay within it and so you'll see i drop in a lot of different um inside cuts just like again you saw right there um so that we can bring a lot of shape into this building that was you know kind of a flat two-way before um, some people might not like that. I'll be real honest. They might think it's kind of taken it away from the original shape, which I understand. But I definitely did want to go with this pattern. I saw a, a picture of a house actually. It kind of gave me the inspiration for this one, and I really wanted to roll with it. I thought it was pretty sweet for the wood, wood, uh, the wood house type, and uh, I think it would turn out sweet. And I think it did. So you have to let me know down in the comments what you think. It's definitely a different design. Either way, okay. Here's the T shape, and it actually turns into like a, a lowercase T in the end. You'll see, look, you can kind of see it right here. You know, we have that, that left side, and then we have the is the other side is a T, but we cut in on the bottom right. So it kind of gives like, you know, we cut in a little bit on the top right, so it's kind of lowercase T now. Um, but not really. Either way, it sticks with that that T shape. The, the kind of the right side separated from the left side. Now you see here, I'm filling in blocks. Okay, I filled it in with spruce just to try and show the shape better. I don't think this really worked out in the end. I was just trying to, you know, put in like these temporary walls so you can see what the actual shape of the building is. Because there's a lot of pillars. Because with a modern build, there's a lot of glass. So it's kind of hard to see the, the, the shape and design right away. So that's why I put in this spruce wood so that we could go and, you know, then cut out from it and kind of show it better. I don't think that really worked, but it's okay either way. <laughs> Um, you kind of get the get the idea Now this is real key. Okay, we're shaping up the the top the modern wooden part. Okay um, You know what? I'm gonna grab a drink of water live while talking You didn't hear it, but you heard the background music. That's why I knew I could do it. Okay, but uh, look Look at the 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 smooth edge of the the stripped wood. This is very critical. Okay, we don't want the the end caps, the normal end caps of wood, we want to have it smoothed out and have it all facing so that it looks like a um, a horizontal line on top. You can kind of hopefully you get what I mean. Each one of those uh, wood pillars on the top are extending in a horizontal line on top of the pillars holding them up. That's the idea. You saw that front. I added in shape with the 
different uh, concrete, the powder concrete and the, the full concrete. You can see it again right there. And then we're using black stained glass and white stained glass to bring even more, um, you know, uh, not texture, but um, I don't know, uniqueness to the, the actual design of the modern house itself. And so you see, we're bringing in, we're using different patterns. We're using the, the concrete in between the blocks so that it's that darker texture against the wood. And we're using the glass all throughout to give it that modern touch that we're obviously going for in the modern style. Um, you'll see this this bottom right part is actually going to be another entranceway. Uh, if, it, if it was like a real house, you could kind of consider it a garage. Um, but obviously in this scale and for the, the large house kind of shape, I just made it an entranceway. You'll see me do it right there. You also saw the, the front door is up in the, or not up, well you can't see it now, but it was in that left side and you have the stone slabs ascending up to it just as it should. You can see it now there on the left. But there's the other side door and then we're also putting the pass and then make sure you get the blocks underneath. Get the blocks underneath always, okay? You don't want the grass path. You don't want to see the dirt underneath the blocks of like the stripped wood and the clay, okay? You might get what I'm saying there. Hopefully you do. Right here, okay, we're going with uh, uh, slabs, slabs of oak wood. And you can kind of see, I'm not gonna be able to show the interior design. I actually love the interior design. I'm not gonna be able to show the building process that well. So I'm gonna add in screenshots. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it within the video in a little bit here. But what you're seeing right now is the roof pattern. Always critical too. You know, I love doing a creative looking roof pattern. And we brought in iron trap doors on top that we've been using throughout the, the kind of theme of this village that are skylights. There's no blocks underneath them, so it lets in some natural light. Uh, we put a little concrete powder and on the left side just to bring in some more shape there. You can see it right now. Uh, and so that's the uh, brings in some more shape into this modern build. Some bushes out front, and then you can kind of see, look at the, uh, the powder texture, powder concrete, and this is a good angle right here. Just showing off the house, showing uh, showing what it looks like in the, uh, the kind of end product. Right now inside, I'm doing the actual interior and that's why it's, it's sped up a little bit and I think I have screenshots on the uh, video showing right now so that you can kind of see that interior. I actually love how the interior looks. You can also, I would say you can also check it out on Avo's, Avo's, Avo's video. I like Avo. But either way, Avo's video, which you should definitely watch, is linked down below. Um, he might walk through it in person. I'm not 100% sure. We release at the same time. But either way, um, I'm going to put those screenshots so you can kind of get the feel. Um, yeah, that's that's the building. That's actually it. So hopefully you like that part. Let's, uh, let's jump over to, by the way, what is that bat doing flying around? Why is there a bat? I saw that all throughout. Maybe you did too. Either way. Let's go to the medieval. Okay, here we go. Medieval style from Avomance. Let's take a look. Let's see if I can get a good turn. Pretty solid and ooh, there we go. The T-shaped house. You can see he really locks it down. Similar to the original village style as you may have expected and maybe I should have done either way, but he did it very well. I love it. Look at this. Look at this up top. This is just one of those, dang, this is just a standard, beautiful looking house. I mean, this is one that this is a real good transformation. This is an especially good transformation of the house because it definitely keeps that village village style you're familiar with and it just turns it into a real good looking house. Dang, I like it. I really like it. This one makes a lot more sense to, to, to me than my modern one necessarily does. Okay, I still like my modern one, Avo. He's really trying to shake me up here. <laughs> But this one, this is sweet. This is a real good house. Okay, let's go over some details. Brian's just talking from the front. Uh, walking up, he's got the, the porch. I love the porch, kind of adding in that porch design by extending into the building a little bit. He's got the nice, oh man, dang. Trotto told me in the last episode what the word was for these, but I can't remember. Uh, but either way, going across the windows right there. Love the upper windows against the, the roof pattern. You can see his roof panels all formed together to keep that theme together with the cobblestone. And he's got the, the bushes out back. That green is mm, beautiful. And then again, the textures all throughout the building. You've seen it. You've seen it be consistent. And that consistency not only adds to the theme of the entire village, but looks beautiful 
when put together, especially on each individual build. Let's go inside. Oh, yep. You know I love this interior now. It's got the stripped wood. It's got plenty of uh, little windows coming through so that you feel like you're in a real house right here. It's got the, the chest right in the back here with the craftsman table. A nice, uh, blah, 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 blah. More like your kitchen because you got the, the meat, for, meat right there. It's like a counter. Let's go counter. Um, bedroom up here with the, the, what's it called? Oh my gosh. How many times can you blank on a word? The, no, I'm going for this. Um, no, I can't remember. I straight up can't remember. Oh my gosh. Uh, body armor stand thing. Okay. Chest around. That is beautiful. I love it. The different textures all throughout and the spruce door out front, keeping with the consistency of the style of the build. Very nice, Avo. I love it. And again, I love this use of the trap doors. Look at it bringing out that depth. Oh, look at it right there. Coming across rather than just having that low oak log. You got the trap doors coming across. Okay, that's perfect. I love it. Avo's, Avo's killing it. He really is. I love the porch. That's probably my favorite detail highlight of this part. But yeah, that's beautiful. Look, he's got the village all together. He's also got the large house right there again. Beautiful, beautiful. Another beautiful transformation in the medieval style. Hopefully you like both of them, the modern and the medieval. Um, nothing, nothing else to say here. So go watch Avo's video. It's in the description down below and look forward to the next one. Okay, look forward to it. All right, talk to you soon. All right, bye.